I'm Katie. And I'm Ashley. And this is Movie Club! Yay! But I don't, I don't want to be called Movie Club. I don't want to be called Movie Club. Why? Because, one, there's like a bunch of things that are called Movie Club, and there's only two of us. So we're not really a club. That's why we need them. This is true! We want you! We want you! you. <laughs> but I think we should be called, like, Movie Posse. Can we be a movie posse? No. Why not? I think that makes us sound more like we're gangsters. And we're not. We're too white. <laughs> but I'm black. <laughs> I'm darker let's, than you. Let's not bring this conversation <laughs> up right now. But yeah. Like for movie. Like this video if you want movie posse. Yeah. Yeah. Vote for me. Or just like it anyway. And, not and then comment below yeah, if comment you want Posse below. or if you have a different name that's way cooler than yeah, Posse. But I doubt you'll find one because Posse's amazing. Okay, so this week on Movie Posse, we watch Eddie Mackham's Run, which is basically a movie, it's like a crime movie with a detective and an escaped convict. So yeah, um, the main characters are Marzak, which is like the detective dude. Eddie Mackham is the escaped convict, and Jilly Buck is like this rich girl who helps Eddie at near the end of it. So, yeah, what happened? Yeah, well, it's like, it's okay, Eddie Mackham is this escaped convict, and he's wrongly accused. Accused. Yeah, accused. Accused. Is that even a word? I don't think. Basically, you have clue, like the movie Clue, a clue. Well, I mean, it's about it, like a mystery kind of thing. Yeah, true. So it works. It's like you like you watch the movie in flashback. So you like you start with him in prison and then you like flashback and you learn what's going on. It's really yeah. cool. Sorry, it's like I one of those kind of movies. It's really so, good. It's I like good. It. I it's it's a fairly uh, good movie. Continue your um, summary. Anyway, back to my summary. <laughs> um so he goes to this rodeo thing that they have for prisons and Hold he it. escapes through riding a cattle car thing. Ew. Yeah. It, he didn't look like he was very comfortable with that, but whatever. It. And then he escapes off of that, and he runs on foot. He's trying to get to Mexico, because this is in Texas, and he's trying to do that. Yeah, he's meeting, his family has, like, arranged all this stuff, and he's, like, going to meet them across the border so he can be free. And then um, this one detective, Marzak, which is played by Kirk Douglas, who is <laughs> the one of the main characters in Jaws, and um, the villain, if you haven't seen that movie, which is a great movie, which will be a lot in the future. Continue. Yes. Anyway, um, he's like the detective, and he's chasing after him, and he's already chased after him before, so he's like determined to get him. So it's like a past. Yeah. Something the past so makes he's him like, like he got has to. something else to drive him other than just oh I'm gonna go get this person. Like he's like I'm gonna go get this person. Yeah. And um, during his time of him running, he <laughs> happens to wind up in the woods and he's nearly killed and then he runs into this gorgeous girl gorgeous gorgeous Named Jill, Jilly Buck and she's played by Lee Purcell or Purcell, Purcell. Purcell? we don't really know Purcell? how would you pronounce that? I don't know and she's just a bored rich girl and Super he rich. asks her he's like why are you helping me? and she's like <gasps> I love your impression why are, are you, you helping, helping me? me? and she's like it's just a slow Wednesday. That's literally her reason. I quote, it's just a slow Wednesday. Like, and she even she says, says that on Thursday. Times. Yeah, on she Thursday. Says, she says on Thursday, too. I, th I think she's a little... A little loopy. Yes. When you go a little loopy, you better keep your nurse well paid. Okay. So, this movie was directed by Jeff Canoe. Like kayak. The search engine. This, this chick. Um, I don't recognize this director before. This was made in 1983. It was released on so March 23rd. it's older than us, so... <laughs> yeah, it's older than us, so I doubt we've heard this before. Um, uh, yeah, as she said, the main characters are John Snyder, which is Eddie Mackham, um, Lee Purcell as Jilly Buck, and Kirk Douglas as Marzak. There are other people in this movie, too, but we don't have their names no. written down on our not little note paper. They, most of them get shot with, like, three, four deaths. I say three, because there's the two guys, and then the one dude that Marzak kills. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. about him. Yeah. So there's three deaths. Let's say three, three deaths. So even guys might like this movie, because there's, there's blood and violence everywhere. Yeah. This is, I wouldn't say this is a family movie, because there is a lot of cursing in it. They say, like, the S word a couple times, or a lot of times. 
And so, and there is one shower scene that's like a minute and 45 seconds. <laughs> she thinks it's two minutes. I think it's a minute and a half, so we're going to go with a minute 45. But you don't see anything, and it's not even long. He's zoned out completely during the entire thing. Yeah, it's kind of funny. really tired. It's, but it's kind of funny. I wouldn't recommend this as a family movie. Nowadays, I'd rate it probably about PG-13, just for those reasons. But if it were just, like, for our ages, it'd be PG. I mean, I'm used to that. I, mean, I don't care that much. But, yeah. What did you think of the movie, like? I think it was... I mean, it was a pretty good movie. Like, I really liked the plot of the movie. Really but there was just, like, things in it that was, like... Was it, it was needed. just weird. Yeah. Some things were just normal back then. It was weird for us. Yeah. I like the character progression. How the characters, their personalities, they grew on you. Even though you couldn't mm. relate to, like, he's, you're an escaped convict, which I hope you're not. Um, you can relate to, you know, his reasons. He's trying to get home to his wife and his son, who has a rare blood disease and all these kind of things. Yeah. So but yeah. But, like, you can relate to them, like, emotionally. I know. feel for you. <sighs> but, Yeah. And again, we are girls. So. <laughs> the men are beautiful in this movie. I'm just saying. Um, next week, we are going to be watching the movie Scavenger Hunt. It was made in 1997? No, 1979. I got it. It's like, wait, stop that. Reverse it. I didn't know that. Thank you. <laughs> it's 1979 because it was before this one. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a family favorite of mine. We are quoters. My family quotes a lot of things, and this is one of our main movies. <laughs> She they thinks quote it's weird. everything. We can watch a movie once and like quote the entire thing. It's one time. Great. That's all I need. One. One. I'll be quoting this movie for weeks. I, I promise. One. But so I've seen it before. It's family favorite, but she's never seen it before. This poor deprived child. So we are gonna watch that next week. Um, I own it on DVD because we love it that much. But I'll put a link down below so you can watch it with us. And please comment and video respond to this so we can you know, get your opinion on the movie. Um. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, oh, and you could you can help us pick movies. Our goal we're trying to do like old movie reviews that yeah. our generation has never heard of before. Yeah, like nineties, like like through sixties, like 90s. early nineties, preferably. Even though some of us were alive for that, the early nineties. But so if you'd like to comment that. down below what you want us to watch, but there is one rule. Just no. One. Horror movies. No horror. I can't do serial. Well, we'll just be there <laughs> <Just> ah! <laughs> the entire time. I promise you. But so we're open for romance. No zombies. No zombies. I don't I think there were zombie movies. I just watched World War Z. That was a scary movie. She sat there like ah, ah! It was really funny. <laughs> scary movie. But we're open for romance comedies. Like this one was like a crime movie. Love romance. Oh my goodness. Except there's this one I was like, I was on Wikipedia looking up old movies, and this one, I told you about it. it was, oh, yeah, that it one. It was just weird. I'm like, why is this a movie? I won't bring it up. Maybe I may, may even watch it. Who knows? But, so comment down below what you want us to watch. And if you agree with somebody, don't comment it again. Just like it. So we can, like, see. The, does that make sense? So we can, like, see the, you know, oh, this person was, like, 20 to, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And vote for Movie Posse. Movie Posse. And we'll leave a link below about this movie if you want to watch it. So. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave the link below so if you can, if you want to watch it, you can. We watched it on Hulu. Yeah, but there's a lot of commercials. I didn't realize there were that many commercials. There was like six commercial stops in the main climax. And of there's the film. five, like five commercials every stop. Sometimes there's three. Normally five. But there's normally five. It's it's really annoying. It was really annoying. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and this like and subscribe to the video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, and we will see you next week on Movie Posse. Yeah! You mean Movie Club. No, it's Posse. <laughs>